hope you'll understand. Last night, it became clear to me what I have to do this morning. You see, I'm going to give cold fusion to the world. It's the only way, if we're ever together again, that I'll know it's for you, and you'll know it's for me. If cold fusion is free, then you and I, Simon, will be free, too. Listen, if you think giving away everything in front of the world, preventing us from making an unimaginable fortune, will accomplish anything, Right. <laughs> Simon, what are you doing here? There, there are police. They're everywhere. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You wore the pin. <laughs> of course. You better go. How am I gonna find you? <laughs> I'll find you. You found me. Although our next speaker requires no introduction uh, after last week's Moscow fireworks, uh, please let me welcome Dr. E.J. Russell. Excuse me. Is this seat taken? No. Cold fusion. Dr. Russell. Thank you. Good morning. No. Well, we all know that Cold Fusion has had a, a difficult childhood. Those of us in the field are orphans, bastards at best. But difficult childhoods, I believe, make the most interesting adults. And I know that most of you thought that Cold Fusion was an impossible I'm the biggest fan. I think she's a fox. belongs to all of us. Okay. Even though some of you may feel that its practical application is still somewhat speculative. Well, I've come here today to share with you how that dream is slowly becoming a reality. Yes, it may take years to finally learn oh, how to the time, its medical. energy and stabilize its power. But with your help, we can all work towards making the, the dream of cold fusion finally come true. Donations totaling $3 billion were made today to the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and the United Nations Children's Fund. The funds were wired from the account of jailed Russian tycoon Ivan Tretiak. In other philanthropic news, a non-profit research foundation has been established to develop cold fusion technology. Funded with an anonymous donation and to be headed by Russian physicist Dr. Lev Botkin. The E.J. Russell Foundation is chartered Light a candle, lay flowers at the door For those who are left behind and the ones who 